Oh my, what is that? What is that? That isn't good. There's a hole in the sky. There's a hole in the sky. <laughs> Where's Chicken Little when we need him? We passed this way a month ago. Parman heard some kind of bonka donk noise. Do you step on something? Could be a treasure buried in the desert around somewhere. Be ashamed if we missed out on it. Let's go check it out. All right. It's a world quest. Bonka donk noise. Bonk donk. What did we find? Oh, it's a drum with a cryo marking on it. Huh, come on, this is no treasure. It's just a tattered old drum. I don't know what it could be used for. We could ask the academia. We should bring it back to the academia. Maybe the academia would be interested. <laughs> I'm always looking for their budget. Nameless Adventurer's Note. This time, I've commissioned but try to find a local order and obtain information about something known as the Sign of Apusha. I must say that I that my that remuneration seems quite outsized when compared with the mission content. I hope I won't get caught up in any trouble. I reached the entrance to the Tamir Mountains with the help of an mercenary, but he refused to continue onward, saying that this was the border of a war. Must be some sort of desert dweller superstition. Contrary to what I was told, it seems like these Nag Nagajunites are not very friendly to outsiders. Looks like I'll have to try infiltrating their ranks. I finally managed to make it out. Thankfully, with these people are pretty civilized, so I managed to get away with my life. As as I thought, these high re remuneration commissions always have something fishing going on. Looks like an adventurer's work doesn't suit people who just want to earn some quick mora. I'll just leave this drum here. Maybe someone will pick it up. That way, I guess I won't totally disappoint Miss Catherine. Okay, maybe we should just take it to Catherine then. Thinking we're just going to take it to Catherine. She'll probably know more than anything else. She's the woman with the plan. Or the robot with the plan. I guess she's the robot with the plan. <laughs> I should be reading that out loud. Leaving, leaving a commission unfinished to, to, to upset Paimon. But since it's things how are, let's hand this drum over to Catherine and let her assign some one to complete whatever commission this was. All right, so we know where we're going. We're going to Catherine with it. Okay. Well, we didn't get very far into the desert, yeah. but let's go see. Let's go see Catherine. I guess we're doing world quest now. Hidden world quest, or not terribly hidden world quest. Very straightforward and easy to find world quest. All right, Catherine, what do you have to say? Another Dreepy has pawned. That is like two Dreepies in the last, oh, I don't know, hour and a half, maybe less. So many Dreepies. Hello there, traveler. How have your recent travelers gone? Yeah, I see that. Thank you. And it's good. If you could put that in the zero limits as well, that'll be best. I'll definitely, I will probably miss chat links in chat, but I will not miss things in the Genshin channel of the zero limits. So I'll, I'll double back for that as well. They've been con quite well. Thank you. I've heard about your previous adventures. It seems like you've become very experienced. As long as you keep going, I believe that you will not only be a matter of time before you become a truly great adventurer. Hmm. Speaking of adventures, we found this was this on one of ours. 
This was left by some irresponsible adventurer. We thought it'd be bad if the commission he took never got resolved, so we brought it back here. Mysterious drug. This one has a cryo marking on it. Catherine. Hmm, indeed. This item is key to a particular commission. Thank you very much. The commission linked to this drum is a very important one from the Academia, and is also critical to the expansion of our operations. Unfortunately, we have previously given this commission to various talented adventurers, and they've all invariably failed. A commission from the Academia? Well, this is an issue that even the Academia cannot solve, so we did not expect a relatively high... We did expect a relatively high... <laughs> Failure rate. Actually, Simon's getting a little curious now. What sort of commission is this anyway? Catherine, simply put, a recent star observation by researchers from the academia led to the discovery that the northern skies have become blocked by a strange, heretofore unseen phenomenon. So, it's, yeah, this is what you were saying. It's not a hole. It's a. It's a something's in the way. Concerned that this would have a great impact on the accuracy of astrological calculations, the Academia immediately put people together to investigate. This resulted in them de delving into ancient records within which they found a mention of a strange phenomenon known as the Sign of Ephosia, which bears strong similarities to the recent concurrence. According to these records, this celestial sign appeared after the disaster that engulfed most of Tifat 500 years ago. Although the circumstances of its eventual disappearance were unclear, its position has been determined to be near the Tamir Mountains, at the northernmost regions of the desert. However, that area has only been sparsely populated. Even when the ancient desert realms were at their peak, they did not extend that far. And after the cataclysm 500 years ago, that place was one of the areas worst affected by the encroaching abyss, excuse me, due to it being connected to an ancient underground realm. Ooh, ancient underground realms, I like that. Since then, it has been declared a restricted zone by the Academia. The only people who still live there are mysterious Darshan, known as the, by the Academia's name as the Nagarjunites. Hmm, a mysterious Darshan. The Eighth Darshan? Even, even if you're calling it mysterious, Catherine, there's got to be something super mysterious. <laughs> Although they seem... Like legends, the average person, they were once a Darshan of the Academia, albeit one of that split off 500 years ago. Then, the researchers who wished to fight monsters from the Abyss banded together and traveled the depths of the desert. And when the Narjanites are an organization comprised of the people who stayed there to the end, so they're an anti-Abyss uh, uh, organization, that says it has been many years since, and they have branched off further and further from the academia. They even seem to have developed their own academic traditions. Seems that they also worship a form of energy known as Kavarina. This energy communicates with them in the form of spirits. Well, I feel like I'm going off topic now. The academia believes that this faction is strongly related to the celestial sign. However, they have not been able to establish content with this group, and as such, have commissioned the guild to insist, assist in their investigations. This is a win-win situation for us as well. Ruins related to Kanria are located nearby, but exploration in that area has been declared taboo by the academia until now. If this commission is a success, perhaps we'll be able to participate in future expeditions to those ruins. Since you have heard me say this much, why don't you take this commission on? Well, since Conria is involved. So, after all that, it sounds like we just need to look for those whatever rights, right? It sounds like it'll be pretty easy. And we'll get some more from the Academia, too. 
Yes, that drum you picked up was originally given to us by the Academia to be used as a token of good faith in our dealings with the Na Nagar Junites. Just give it to the organization's leader. It stands to reason that they will have some way to solve this problem. I'm leaving this task in your hands, then. I've marked the rough position of the Tamir Mountains for you. At Abstra Abeskos, a traveler, may you inscribe a new legend in the desert stand sands. Off we go. Cavarnia of Good and Evil. to the new area now that we have our commission. Very important to get your commission before you start venturing off into the new areas. Mm -hmm. But first, the Hilly Churls. Is he just not gonna see me? ね。ご助力。かかれ。せ。はっ。急がなくてもいいのよ。と。ほっ。せ。なぶさのり。と。ほっ。ほっ。よし。せ。ほっ。ほっ。手を繋ぎましょう。Hey, there was a little thingy on our... Oh, it's on top of it. Okay, that makes sense. I might have to switch to an hour exploration Hi. focused group, but for now, we'll just climb trees. Like if I know, <laughs> oh, Seely, where shall you lead me? Such beautiful music they play as you follow them. Oh, there's the sign. <laughs> oh, I interrupted Paimon. Oh, well, it does look like a hole in the sky, though. Early this morning, the Nard. Your knights warned us to turn around and leave immediately, saying there was nothing to see in the northern desert. Some of our bodyguards are from the desert, and they're already beginning to waver. Superstitious laws. Captain Parsh plans to negotiate with their leaders, but the Nedger knights will be as amenable to reason as we are. I don't think it's a good idea. But since he's already decided to go... Captain Parshid was wounded by a crossbow bolt, and some of his warriors are turned severely wounded. All of our desert bodyguards are spoiling for a fight. The air in the camp is heavy with danger. It is as I thought. It will not have been so simple to make them reason, to make them see reason. Captain Parshid's wound is becoming seriously infected. Perhaps the bolt was poisoned. Oof. Poison weapons. Always a problem. I think we're we're being we're being conditioned to be very wary of uh this Darshan and how they may be we may behave. 
poison bolts. Oh, is that one of our new hilly troll friends? I think it is. Yes, I think it is. We have a new hilly troll friend. Let's let's deal with the old friends. <laughs> It's a new hilly trail friend over there. The 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 guy is leading us straight us straight to it. Hey dude, how's it going? Animo Hilly Troll Rogue. <laughs> oh wow, they have really interesting voices too. Lost notes, rest on the desert. Interesting, there was notes inside that treasure chest. What do they say? What do they say? So we've got new drops, treasured flower, and a flower less to do. A flower, a wildflower, the Hilichul Rogue treasured, bereft of any special qualities. Flowers can be used as gifts or offerings to express one's feelings in many cultures. A wildflower that a hillichul robe treasured is placed it was plucked before it could bloom. A herald trail takes nothing with it in its sojourn across the wilderness. Save this flower. Interesting. And then we have a note that we found as well. So there's the drum. Know where the other note is. Know where it was placed in my inventory. Yeesh. You can see the new marker. There's a lot of things in my inventory. Hmm.資格認定試験には決まった判定基準がある。だから真面目な姿勢で勉学に励み、修練さえ積めば合格できるんだ。Animo Hilichel Road, mysterious Hilichel warrior that can manipulate Animo to a certain. In battle, such Hilichels will enter a hovering state with the aid of Animo slimes. Attack these slimes to shoot the rogues down. Oh my, they're silly. They have balloons. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, where did our where did our little silly friend go off to? Oh, I think she's up on top of the hill. We've got some more notes. Okay. Day 10. We were subjected to a thorough looting. The ones calling themselves the Narju Knights still refused to let us go. They knocked our night sentries out and attacked the camp under cover of darkness. Those thugs destroyed all our academic findings and plundered our food, water, and sumter beasts. They say this is our punishment for harboring a felon. A mercenary named Narvash. If you don't turn him over, they won't ask again. The Narvash is gone. Perhaps he escaped in the chaos or is hiding somewhere. Either way, he's not in our camp. It's absurd. Narvash is a crippled, old, blind man who can't even speak clearly. And we're supposed to believe that he's some dangerous murderer. Captain Parshid's wound continues to worsen. is now showing signs of festering and necrosis. He must be the venom of the consecrated scorpion. Just a tiny bit is sufficient to paralyze most people for a week, and it is lethal if concentrated. Our stock of anti-venom for this fearful toxin has been depleting to nothing, and those non-Junites must have nicked it during their raid a few days ago. We stole almost half of our medicines. It looks like we have no choice but to turn back as soon as possible. But our first priority is to smooth things out with the non-Junites. If not, we'll have no way out. Yeah, more doomed notes. There's only doomed notes in this game lately. Story is told by doomed characters. Well, there's where our friend Seely went off to while we were fighting the hilly troll. We have some, some things floating there. Oh, it's those sneaky things. It's those flying snake guys. 
Hyper Blooming Circus. We got an achievement for that. The Elemental Series. Uh, the Elemental Series 2 is. There it is. Defeat four opponents with Hyper Bloom within two seconds, ten times. Cool. Nanika Nayami Goto? Ishani Kanga Tagiruwa? There's a domain up here. This must be the new artifact domain. It is. Oh, and there's a there's a little bloop around here too, somewhere. And the new the new child set domain. What? The new child set domain. Child hyper bloom driving. What? This child got power crept. Yep. So they got to make him stronger. So they gave a they gave a new artifact. Yep. It's very specific, and it happens to match the the buff sequence of the polar star. So you you just don't even have to change how your uh, play style. You don't even have to change your play style. You just play child. People who have polar star just play child the same way they usually do, and get. A bunch more attack, and that allows you to. I think that's so that you can emphasize um, elemental mastery on his stats. The AoE of her burst gets bigger at C1, it's noticeably bigger. It's not like huge, but it's noticeable. <laughs> Where's that um must be on top of the cliff or something. Let's get up there. And draw closes. Sora no ikoi. Kakare. Nagusa no ring. Yes, hot. Hot. To. Itagatsu yen. Ha. I got a lot of help. I'll say that. Dai yo eru hoho ai. The rogues and their high health pools. This must be the camp. Oh, there's like blocks of ice here that look to be blocks of ice. Is that ice? No, it's not coming up cryo. But it's definitely. Well, we finally found the place. We look different than I saw before. It's crystal here. No, so the so final sees their crystals here. Okay. Oh. Well, let's just have a conversation with this person. Have to read your mind. Am I hearing things? Or is this a suspicious sound? 
Oh no, suspicious sound. Oh, oh did you scan him? I did. Oh, break that rock back there. <laughs> it's a different kind of rock. Hey. Ooh, it's a very scary hey, it's not too to sky to find it. For me. Oh, it's so tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Trisha. Trishalite, a splendid stone that can be found. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what it's for, but I figured I could tell you about it. Yeah, definitely. I also found a note, but I couldn't tell which note it was. So, like, I killed the, the, the monster, and I noticed a note popped up, but then when I went to my inventory, I couldn't tell which note it was. I have so many notes. There's so many notes. So many things, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know which one it was. <sighs> it's supposed to be marked new, and I must have scrolled past it. Anyhow. Uh, but that stuff went... Where did it go? Did it go into here? No. Did it go into the weapon area? Did it go into the weapon area? It was ore. No, it didn't go into the weapon area. <sighs> so many new things to find. It's not food. Does it go in here? Yes, it does. Oh, uh, there it is. Fresh rate. Local specialty. Sumero. A splendid stone can be found in the depths of desert mountains. Seemingly foreign from congealed elemental area. So it is a it is a new drop. Is what it is. New. Uh, Collectible yep. thing. Maybe it's maybe it's a Kave Ascension item or something. Wouldn't be surprised if it was. All right, let's talk to this gentleman. Okay, who are you? You guys don't look like the tribes people of the desert. More like adventurers from a faraway land. But no matter who you are, this is as far as you'll get. Please go back. We've been commissioned to come here. Commission? What commission? As far as I know, the Academia of the Rainforest has declared this area a restricted zone. Why would there be any commissions? Well, we're commissioned to investigate something up in the sky that looks like bad news. A sign of... Oh, what was it again? A sign of the Fosha? Ah, yep, that's the one. Wait. How did you come to know its name? Because <laughs> you just said it. <gasps> Catherine of the Adventures Girl told us. Hang on a minute. Didn't you just mention the correct name right now? <laughs> Since you know the sign of the Fosha, you must have heard of us. The Shamania, the Order of Skeptics, right? The desert past this point is a restricted zone under our guard. As a ranger of the Order of Skeptics, I cannot let you pass, no matter what reason you have. Ranger? My apologies, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Pyro, a member of the Order of Skeptics, in charge of guarding this place. Order of Skeptics? Paimon remembers that Catherine told us to look for the Najarnasites or something. Hmm, looks like Pyro isn't one of the looking for. Najar and Azite? That's just a derogatory name that those guys from the rainforest have for us. Lord Narjuana is a hero who fought against the monster, Dev, alongside the divine birds and spirits. He gained divine power through the right of Jinvat and put an end to the calamity. How dare they call such a hero and our first Vin... Vin... By his given name. Oh, wait, why, why am I telling you outsiders this? Are you two spies from the academia? <laughs> we are here because we've accepted a thing. The commission. Hmm. So the academia folks have been reduced to hiring some no-name adventurers who do their dirty work. Powers, just as I thought. I thought they might send some mercenaries over at the worst. What an oversight on my part. 
Um, I didn't expect you to have such a strong opinion about the academia. Of course. Lord Nas Nasuria has said that we shouldn't have been reduced to this state if it weren't for them. Wait, so you're here to gather intelligence after all? Ugh, you've revealed more than I should. Anyways, please leave This if this conversation continues. As unwilling as I might be to do so, I would have to end you. What? You're the one black who couldn't resist blabbing. Why are you putting the blame on us? Also, there's no need to be rash. Oh, right. Traveler, show Pyro the token that Catherine gave us. He'll know what's going on once he sees it. Token. This better not be some trick. Ta-da! Told you we weren't lying. What is this shabby drum? You call it a token? Huh? Did Catherine mix things up? You guys don't think you can bribe me with such a small thing, do you? Leave now, or things will get nasty. Don't you underestimate us skeptics. Uh, bring it on. Yep. <laughs> what? Bring it on, Jelon. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna tie you up with with magical wires and snap them to the chest. Just kill you with it. Rip you I in half. I decided to just beat him up with normal attacks. Yeah. From a fair fight, he still lost. No, no fair fights. He started it. He didn't have elemental powers, so I didn't use any on him. All right. See, these I say. Lady Soros, why, why? Why did you? Oh yeah, it's the wrong voice. Lady Soros, why did you, you? You didn't have to attend to such trivial matters personally. Let I, let alone in front of these outsiders. We pirate appear to before whoever we wish, and our volition is not for you mere mortals to question. How dare you overstep your bounds? That's all things about Paimon's size, and the way she talks is kind of funny. Why is Pyro calling Lady in that reverent tone? Hmm. Your sins will be judged, but the, the time has not yet come. The two of you over there, as envoys of the Academia, it is only polite to state your names first, no? Yeah, we should have introduced ourselves first, but that's a high and mighty attitude yours is... My words and actions are not contrary to traditions and principles of the Pari. The same cannot be said for your nameless persons. Hmm. Ah, fine. We are not nameless. Paimon is Paimon, and she is the Traveler. We are adventurers who've come here on a commission. Well, I don't want to be a little clear an adventurer. Hey, we adventure together all the time. I need only know your names. Your other trivialities do not concern me. However, as for that drum, that item has a profound connection to us, Pari. It is not something that you mortals should possess. Traveler, I command you to present it to me immediately. No way! At least sound nicer about it when you're asking for someone a favor. Besides, this item is important for our commission. If we're not to hand it to the leader of this order of yours. Oh, we've got a tentacle in chat. We'll let the song play. So it's the leader. So imagine going into your tech exec at a PC building company. Okay. Imagine going, you're an exec at the PC building company. You do the management for sales reps yeah. and for getting the PCs out there. Right. Imagine walking into a, um, a boardroom that you got called for an emergency meeting and seeing Linus Tech Tips uh, 007 ripoff <laughs> intro. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. He does the thing and he shoots the screen. <laughs> Imagine seeing that. Because they, yeah. the, they do the Secret Shopper okay. series where they buy okay. and they review it. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing this right now. Yes, yeah, so imagine him flaming your company. Okay, well, 
joking. All right. No. With okay. Tank in the background. Yes, I, I think this would be pretty funny. Right. It's oh. a genuine thing that's happened. All right, I'm doing this right now. Okay. <sighs> if we give it to you and fail to complete the commission because of that, not only might we lose our reward and might even have to pay more to the Adventurers Guild. That's a huge loss. Reward, Mora, to think that you would risk your lives in a place fraught with peril for such frivolous reasons. You know nothing of what transpires here. One mistake could send your race tumbling into eternal samsara, and yet you commit deeds that are beyond even our comprehension. You humans are such interesting Not things. Human. No matter. I shall bring you to the leader you speak of. This item would remain worthy tribute, even if you should only present it to me after that meeting. That's more like it. Wait, well, no, that's not right. Well, we still have to deal with that huge hole in the sky. And if we don't... Huge hole? You refer to the sign of a Fosha, then? And you wish to quell this calamity with mere mortal coils? <laughs> How presumptuous. It is the duty of us party to eradicate the sign of a Fosha. And... An endeavor that I, Sarouche, shall give my all to accomplish. To quell this calamity, I must follow the footsteps of the divine bird, Sigma, and sacrifice everything that one once called Sarouche. To stand in my way is not a sin that one oh. such as you may bear. Oh. This is like a third character who's like, I'm going to sacrifice myself too! Yay! Huh? Just a sister, just, just, just a huh? <laughs> no, I, I wanted to do the smirk. Foolish beings, have you not heard of the divine red smirk? She is the master of Kavarnia, who once saved the land from destruction. Legend has it, and it was she who split into infinite moats of Kavarina after her sacrifice, thus quelling the catastrophe. Um, sure, but Pyla doesn't think I need you to sacrifice yourself. Hmm. In any case, this matter is far beyond your capabilities, and your intervention is futile. All you must do is bear silent witness as I transcend. Excuse me, that's not... <laughs> that's not how it works. You shall receive remuneration from this field of yours as long as the calamity is quelled. Will you not? Still... Do not forget to extol my virtues and laud my accomplishments. After all, even the greatest heroes should require mere mortals like you to sing of their deeds. Uh, the Lady Sarus, the, the Venet Party, has instructed us to forbid suspicious individuals from interfering before the ritual is completed. I have decided. And as a party, my word is law. I want to murder this, this, this little fairy. This damn thing. Just... <laughs> I'm sure the silly voice I'm getting is helping. <laughs> <laughs> the voice actually is spot on for the character, I think. Okay. Well, I'm glad I, I just, want to, I just this little arrogant bastard. That's 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 what I'm going for, hey, yeah. Listen, hey, you see... <laughs> I own you. Hey, listen. Okay. This is great. Oh, well, it's done. <laughs> All right. Follow me. I shall take you to the leader you spoke of. But gird yourselves all the same. That which lies ahead is not a place that a human being can easily set foot in. If you get lost or end up being eaten by some monster... Appearing out of nowhere, there shall be nothing I can do for you. 
What's so mean you're human? It's quite funny. You have golden eyes. That's like the, really the telltale game, sign of huh? God. In this, Ugh, she's so annoying. Even that large, she talks. Okay, I missed that. What I'm saying. She's annoying. Paimon thinks she's annoying. We all think she's annoying. So, all right, we're back. Sorry, family stuff. And take care of it. All right. So we gotta follow this little dude. So I'm gonna read his mind. Oh, it doesn't have a mind to read. Okay, good to know. The little bastard. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like it's a little fairy kind of thing. It's like we got a teleport waypoint to unlock. The head is bent open. You nearly follow. Fear may reach some body and mind with the land, for we are not in present. Oh, the god, it's going too fast. Words of gratitude are not required. Come along, down. Okay, now follow me. Got it. <laughs> she made little pat paths for us. I think this place too has been occupied by the dead. These monsters move. Ever <laughs> often as of late. Yeah, come on. 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 What do you mean, the dev? Aren't these just abyss mages and haley churls? To think that you would so easily defeat it, the rampaging dev. Your strength is most radiant indeed. Consider me impressed. Though, there still is quite the gap between you and us Pari. The sight of you fighting valiantly reminds me of those humans of legends who once fought alongside of us. I have decided then, you shall have the honor of being my Yasnafati. Yasnafati? Pump doesn't know what that is, but coming from you can't be anything good, really. <laughs> you do not have such things amongst humans? Strategists, scribes, and the like. Those who exist to praise the heroes whose stories they exist in. Neither of those jobs are what you just described. <laughs> no matter how great the hero, their great deeds must be recorded and sung of by others. If not, the same fate that dispel, dispel the ancient heroes shall befall them also. Though they may have love violence and conflict, great deeds are still great deeds, and they deserve to be remembered. Ah, a laugh. Those who loved conflict would be consumed by it. And once they had slain each other, they were all lost. And because there were no authors or poets to tell of their deeds, once all who had lived in such times were gone, their works forgotten to the lands. I will not be like them. My great work shall shine so gloriously that the world itself will suffer great loss not to know of it. Thus, I shall give you permission to record those deeds. Rejoice and give thanks, for this is not a grace that few refuse from us, Par. This all sounds very complicated, but basically you just need someone to tell you how awesome you are, right? <sighs> all right, sounds like an all, all right gig. Hey, what are you talking about? Paima doesn't consent to this. Well, you are quite right, aren't you? As I would expect of someone, I have my eye on. Whatever the case, it has been decided, fret not. You shall be free to do as you please once I have sacrificed myself to restore the pure skies. 
Till then, you shall witness my valiant fall. Well, sure, if Paimon can't see it. She looks pretty cute, but her attitude is the worst. <laughs> and then she goes on about us and we and such. And there's others around her, like, uh, just thinking about makes Paimon a little e ill. <laughs> yeah, Paimon's called the Royal Wii. She's not the first person we've met who uses it. So the morning flowers seem to be local specialties, actually. Just so picked one up earlier without <laughs> even thinking about it because I was picking up. Oh, age notes number two. These notes look to have been abandoned here for many years, and the dry desert winds have made them brittle. The fact that they haven't been buried by the saw sand is quite odd indeed. The woman's fetal movements are growing stronger. She can no longer endure long treks, but they haven't given up. They want to have to continue north. No, it can't be anywhere else, can it? They just have to go to the Borokosara Oasis, which just happens to be another forbidden place. Ugh. Oh my god, a Pokemon. Sandshrew. Sandshrew in chat. If anyone needs to catch a Sandshrew, now would be the time to do so. The nomads here may not welcome us with open arms. I warned them, but no, they wouldn't listen. Babel, if she's a girl, then that's what we shall call her. That's what he said, and it's only then that I noticed how the woman's eyes were beautiful, like dusk falling over an oasis. What are their names again? I didn't pay attention, because there's no need to remember, really. They're just two idiots who get themselves killed. That must is obvious. The woman's from some sage's family. As for the man, his station is more lonely. Maybe he was in the desert too, some generations back. No wonder they came to the desert despite expecting a child. I've seen plenty of times before reckless couples who disappear into the desert. The man went off on his own again. Nothing to, can do about that. He's the one paying me after all. But why am I the one who has to accompany the pregnant woman? Babel's mother. Interesting. Babel is no more. At least in my save file, she is no more. Ooh, some alligators down here. Hey, alligator. Eh, doesn't seem like he's interested in me. I'll leave him alone. No one caught the sand shrew, which is fine. Maybe it didn't need to be caught. Oh, another note. Mercenary's age note number one. These notes these look to be abandoned here for many years, and the dry desert winds have made them brittle. The fact that they haven't been buried by the sands is quite odd indeed. Found a spring in the canyon here. Perfect for a rest. This is a short contract. Just a pilgrimage to a site in the north. A simple escort mission. Just like being a tour guide. The Kayans are a couple from the rainforest, both scholars of the Varmana Darshan. The woman is already heavily pregnant. They're here to research the pilgrimage routes by the Borkan, Borukashan of Oasis, constantly collecting the worthless trinkets, trinkets buried in the sand, coins and talismans and the like. The night wind carries a smell of danger. If there are really bandits about, it's just my luck that I have one useless client and the other about to give birth. This is great. Just great. What am I gonna do? Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There's a Sealy up there. I don't know if I'm going to continue the quest for too much longer. I'm getting a little tired. I might pick this up tomorrow. But treasure, treasure to be had. It's always nice to pick up treasure. Ooh, and some more of those rocks that we found. Yes. Only one, too, just like the ones from uh, Leeway. The specialties you have to break open. Oh. 
He just highlighted a torch. Guess I should bring out a torch firing party. Are you going to take me to more torches? Perhaps, yes, indeed. More torches. And a treasure chest. Thanks, Mr. Seely. Appreciate it. And then another one, probably, for him finding his court. Oh, that's nice. Appreciate that. Alright. Tarush can wait. Ooh. Looks like a time thing. Yes. Takarabakomo. There's a bloop as well. Let's pick up the bloop. 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 Oh, another one of these fellows. Nanko Hiraku! Kono Kenwa Wakarukai! Kakare! Itagatsa Yen! Itoyo! Kosak Seo! Ta! Dada Kondana! Dayo El Ho Ho Ari! More of the little red rocks. Keep doing that. John Lee. Let's see how John Lee does on these things. Yes, he can. That's nice. Let's go! Let's go! Man, she gets really excited when you pick up a treasure. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> I don't think I've picked up a treasure box with Lutal before. She gets pretty excited. Alright. Lodi, floaty, floaty. So, uh, probably an ambush. No, no ambush. Okay. Two week camp. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I'll let her do her things. Isa! You got these fellows. Hey! <laughs> The spirits of a long dead race who fell in love with human, and because of that love, Transformed into the spirits that you see now. The sea me. A sad story of love and loss. Oh, there's something. Some sort of new bloop. Probably related to the quest, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
What is this? Is it a withering? Oh no, it's something. Oh, I'm sure it's related to the quest. Okay, it looks like it's related to the quest. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. Iza! It's like the abyssal power is pushing down and dendro power is pushing up. It's like an anime Kamehameha wave battle that's happening between the, the, the downward and upward forces. I know it's supposed to be blocking it, but it really looks like it's a terror. Very much looks like a terror in the sky. There's more bloops down there. Lots of bloops. So many bloops. And there's a big old hole in the ground. Wow, this place is really... Uh, Kind of different. It's a very different feel to it. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to follow the quest. You can tell. But we'll, we'll get to the quest in a minute. Do you want these silly trolls first? Yeah! Can you bandak? Okay, so many things. So many new things to explore and interact with in this area. Okay, cool. Alright, I think I'm going to call it at this point. I feel like I'm out of my element. Alright, I am going to get to safe home base here and uh, call the script. Um, feel like feel like I'm definitely in a, in a place where I need to call the stream. There's a lot going on here, but I will have to edit these down, split these up, rejoin them, all that stuff. Hydro Rogue, a mysterious Healy Troll warrior that can manipulate Hydro to a certain degree. Such Healy Trolls will use Hydro Slimes in battle to launch Mist Bubbles. The burst these Hydro Slimes to cause their effects to rebound on the road. That's interesting. <laughs> Thank you. 